What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and today I have a haul. I actually have two Scentsy boxes here. I think one is the Glamorous Life. Is it called Glamorous Life? <laughs> Let me just see. Glamorous You. I'm thinking Sheila E. Glamorous Life. She don't need a man. Anyway, the other one is my club. I only have time to film one video before I have to take my daughter to skating, and so I'm on a time crunch. But it's always good. Find pockets of time in your day and make things work for you. Packing, not the glamorous you collection. I'm gonna call it the glamorous life, I can I can tell. I picked up Scentsy Fresh and Palm Beach Breeze. I was really excited to see this. I didn't even notice this, this was a new product in this scent. Like Scentsy Fresh is something that you can use to spray things that you can't launder easily or often. And it kind of acts like a Scentsy version of Febreze, but available in your fa favorite fragrances. And Palm Beach Breeze, let me see if it tells you the notes. No, it does not. But it says Scentsy Fresh Odor Eliminating Fabric Spray. All right, I just opened the Mylar pouch and we have this little bag, but it's actually in a plastic bag, so it kind of makes it look not so glamorous. <laughs> and to be a little bit glamorous, I put a little bit of like lip gloss on for you. After my long day, I, just in case anybody's wondering, I am back to work and I'm actually working extra just because that's the way it seems to go if you've been off for a little bit. So Drew is doing very well. So here we have the Glamorous You in the Glamorous Bag. It comes with five bars of various fragrances and it says fill your life with fragrance. The Glamorous You Wax Collection. And nothing about me says glamorous. So we're going to see how these are. Oh my gosh, I can't even open it. There's a little tie, so undo the tie. And it's a cute little bag. So what we'll do is I have my iPad here and I will go through them one by one. And these are cold sniffs. Cold sniff is what the scent smells like before you have warmed it. Is that important? Somewhat. Things can change from cold to warm. So sometimes you may love something on cold, dislike it on warm, or you may dislike something on cold, and really like it on warm. So. Just take everything with a grain of salt. So let's bring up the first bar here I have is called Born to Shine. Really nice packaging with a nice orange colored wax. Sensi says, Nectarine and Pear Blossom boldly take center stage while Cashmere Musk offers a warm enlivening encore. Nectarine, Pear Blossom and Cashmere Musk. Oh, it's a little bit this one is soft but pretty. Yeah, you can definitely smell, it almost smells like an orangey peach and sometimes it's probably just the color making me think that. But this is a pretty light intensity scent and the doorbell just rang. But it's pretty, it's, to me, like a nice bedroom calming scent. Not overly strong, you could probably warm this in a bathroom as well. The musk is there, but it's not overly, alcohol perfumey musk is kind of works with the floral and with the the fruit so that's pretty nice born to shine light but good all right we have dazzle darling this one has a green colored wax a teal green since he says salted grapefruit catches some rays besides sparkling coastal water and calming beach sage I don't know what the heck's going on in the background. If you can hear background noise, I apologize. Okay, so this is very, you can definitely smell the sage. Yes. And then there's an aquatic note. This one I'm not crazy about. This says salted grapefruit, so sometimes salted citrus kind of can turn me off a little bit. Coastal water and calming beach sage. So it does kind of have a beach grass kind of component with the sage. And this is about a medium. Maybe as I smell it, I'm enjoying it a little bit more. This would be a great in a bathroom or a laundry room. Hmm, not too bad. Getting a little better as I smell it. Dazzle darling. All right, next we have keep it sassy. 
This one here is like an orange, uh, excuse me, a red colored wax. I, I love the Scentsy picture of this with the little picture of the, the heels. Oh, love it. All right, this one says, Playful sparkling lemon brings out the sweet side of cherry blossom and sugar cane. And I usually enjoy sugar cane scents. So let's see. Yes, you can definitely get the sweetness of the sugar cane with the cherry. Lemon, I don't know. It's, it reminds me of something. My friend Shannon said it reminds her of First Kiss Fireworks. I can kind of see that, but First Kiss Fireworks was so light, you could barely smell it. This is a light to light medium. It smells very perfumey, but like a teenage girl, like a 12 year old is gonna like put something like this on. Maybe with her mom's heels. It's very sweet and innocent reading. So yeah, I would put that in a bedroom as well. Keep it sassy. All right, the next one on my list is Sweet but fierce, and this is purple. My mom loves the color purple. So I'm hoping, <laughs> and you never know, I mean, colors can influence the way you think about something. This is soothing pink jasmine and sweet violet get bold with a burst of crystallized sugar. So we have pink jasmine and sweet violet. Violet can go either way with me. And then we also have crystallized sugar, which sugar usually makes things nice. So. Okay, this is light, but it reminds me of a scent from the Aladdin collection. Maybe the one, um, a friend like me. Oh, not on the bottom. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm picking up a little bit of jasmine. I like it better on the top. On the bottom, it's a little bit more floral. And I like floral. It's a little bit, not quite powdery, but kind of getting close to that on the bottom. And the top I like a lot better. I don't know. The more I smell it, the more I like it. But first impression, I was like, huh. But yeah, pretty, girly. A little bit like the person that would wear this would probably be like early 40s. That's my guess. That is sweet but fierce. Alrighty, last one is With Grace. This is a pink color wax and With Grace says, alluring gardenia blossoms and sweet pink peony dance delicately with hints of soft musk. And I haven't watched any video so I have no idea what people are thinking of this collection. But what I will say is it's a little bit strange to arrive this time of year. My friend Shannon also um, echoed that sentiment. But sometimes you don't know with COVID if things got delayed or if things got kind of interspersed. They're like, well, we have this collection. We still haven't released it. Where are we going to put it? So sometimes if there's a little gap, they might have to slide it in. So let's see about this one because we get, again, we have another floral. We have gardenia, peony, and soft musk. Okay. So the gardenia is definitely not as strong as lush gardenia. So take that way down and add peony, which, and I think I did see an episode of Lisa Roberry discussing this. She said this reminds her of peony petals. And yes, it does a little bit, but with a little bit of a, a more assertive tone by the gardenia, but still works really well. So if you're scared of lush gardenia, this might still be okay for you. And I don't have great luck with peony petals. I don't know if my bars are just too old, but I think this will perform a little bit better. This is about a medium. Yeah, I mean, nothing here is jumping out as being really strong. Let me just uh, re-smell them very quickly so I can let you know if I have a favorite. Born to Shine. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Dazzle Darling, I have from memory, is not a favorite. No, there's a note in here, something with the beach grass and the sage together. A little bit not kind of a Patricia scent, but there's going to be a lot of people that really like this. This is probably a little bit of this on the stronger side of things compared to the others for sure. So that would be the strongest, I think. 
Keep It Sassy. I think this was the one that reminded me of a young, young preteen. Yeah, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's good. I like the, I like it, but it's funny. This reminds me a little, it's probably the color, but maybe a little bit like Love Story, but sweeter, more fruity. Uh, sweet But Fierce, that's the purple one. This is the one I liked on the top and not as much on the bottom, but I, I'm liking it better. Anyway, that is about a medium and it's a little bit more, maybe perfumey, <laughs> a little bit more mature. And then we have With Grace. Yeah, this one reminds me a lot of Lush Gardenia mixed with Peony Petals, but Lush Gardenia on a lower intensity by far. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know if any of these are gonna be home runs, but it's always good to try. <laughs> so thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I will break off maybe tomorrow and film my Scentsy Club video. And coming up soon, we have a Q&A chop and chat. So if you have any questions for me, Scentsy related or otherwise that you want me to answer within reason, <laughs> I will do my best. Go to my Tester Tuesday video posted and put your question there for me. So take care. I'll see you guys in the, in the next video.